Good morning, friends. Today, I thought that I would sit and <laughs> well, I don't know what that was. Good morning, friends. Today, I thought that I would sit and do some skincare, really light makeup, and just chit chat with you guys. It is currently 7:40. I've been really good about getting up at six lately, taking some time to journal and all that good stuff. The serum that I'm using today is the Coxer Vita C Bright Toner for hyperpigmentation care. I have quite a few acne scars from acne, I guess. And while it's not horrible, I feel like this toner and all of the products that I've been using in my nighttime skincare routine have been really helping with that. So my goal is to incorporate this in the morning I'm actually not quite sure if you're supposed to be using this in the morning because there's vitamin C. For moisturizer, it's the La Roche-Posay Epiclar Duo in SPF 30. Literally the only moisturizer I talk about. I feel like my get ready with me aren't nearly as entertaining as other people's because I kind of use the same four products over and over and over. I actually in quite enjoy using up an entire product because there's a satisfaction when you get to like the end of the tube and you get to toss it instead of having, you know, half empty products littered across your entire bathroom. It is getting a little drier here in Davis because fall is coming so I find that putting two layers of this on my face has been pretty great. As I was saying, getting up in the mornings has been really easy. I used to super not be a morning person, and then when I lived back at home and went to community college, I actually worked the morning shift at a Starbucks, which starts at 4.30 and ends at night 15, at least at the store I worked at. So that kind of forced me to become a morning person. It was the only time that I could work too, because I had class then from 10 a.m. to I think like 6 p.m. So I used to live pretty long, miserable days back when I <laughs> lived at home and went to CC. I have a pimple like right here and another one right here and right here. Just like three little baby pimples, the rest of them are hyperpigmentation, so that's okay, whatever. I used to have really horrible skin, so horrible that right here would just all be cystic acne. It would hurt to touch my face and I was really self-conscious about it like to the point where i would just like scrub my face i i try like every possible skincare product in the drugstore like at target and i none of them worked for me i wasn't quite sure why and then right when i started college i kind of changed up my entire skincare routine i stopped using products that were harsh or marketed towards acne. I started using ones that were for like soothing purposes and incorporated more oils into my skin, even though I do have oily skin. Or like I did, I don't know why I don't have oily skin now, but I still would consider myself to have pretty sensitive skin, pretty acne prone skin. I will be dropping my skincare routine soon, don't worry. Okay, now that my moisturizer has really settled in, I'm going to go in with this Glossier Concealer. It is the Stretch Concealer in Medium. The fact that it's in shade medium means it's quite old. I feel like I went on another tangent and I totally forgot what I was talking about. I think I was like talking about being a morning person. To set my concealer, I'm gonna use the Chanel Double Perfection Compact Matte Reflecting Powder Makeup in number 45. Clarity. Something about Starbucks, working there, CC, morning person, yeah. So I used to definitely not be a morning person. I started getting more into the idea of being like a productive person. It also like was around the same time when I started making videos. A lot of my earliest vlogs are from when I was at CC and I think most of them are filmed from home because I don't think I ever vlogged on my CC campus because so i was like really shy and like weird about vlogging in public now i don't give a fuck, so i'm gonna go in with boy brow and black i found that not everyone is a morning person like my best friends are definitely not morning people they are people who go to bed at 2 a.m and wake up at 9 a.m and honestly if that works for you go for it i don't think that you should have to live on a 
5 a.m. schedule? I certainly don't. I don't think that that's healthy. I read this, um, whatchamacallit, article, that's the word. I read this article that said that, like, waking up at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. or having those obscenely horrible hours is actually bad for your body and it compromises your immune system, which makes sense. You know, our bodies were built to function within the time of the sun. The sun was the OG alarm clock. I'm really vibing with my brows today. Waking up at 5 a.m. is allegedly horrible for your health. And I tried to wake up at 5 a.m. for an entire freaking year. And even at the end of the year, I couldn't get myself to... Like, it's still hard to do after a whole year. So I felt like there was a point for me where I just felt like it wasn't worth it anymore. And I'm like, why am I torturing myself only to be exhausted by the time 3 p.m. rolls around because I've already been up for nearly 12 hours and once I shifted my wake-up schedule back more towards like 6 6 30 when the sun comes up I felt like my body was much more accepting towards it I don't really have a problem getting up at those times now especially if I go to bed at around like 9 30 10 regardless of whether or not you sleep eight hours getting up before the sun does is hard and also horribly unnatural. When I, again, worked at Starbucks at those super horribly early times, I never got used to it. And I got up at 3.30 in the morning every week for like three to six months, I believe. It was the worst period of time of my entire life. Like I was always miserable, I was always cranky, I was so, so tired and I would sleep at like 8 p.m. and get up at 3.30. So what is that? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's seven and a half hours and that should be fine on a regular schedule, but it did not work for me. I'm all about lifestyle habits that are super sustainable and functional and work with your body instead of fighting against it. Before I get too deep on this tangent, I'm gonna do mascara. I'm using the Glossier Lash Slick. I feel like it's really important to have a schedule in your life oh god that is functional and realistic because honestly like how are you supposed to wake up at 3 30 every day and work new and like live in new york hours i think that's silly and unsustainable for me personally i mean if it works for you all the power to you i really wish that i was that kind of person but I'm looking for lifestyle habits that will fit my needs and be long-term sustainable. I also don't believe in like a life of deprivation. And if you live like the 3.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. schedule, you can't really do a lot of things, you know? Like you can't go out with your friends. You can't go and do things late at night, like watch a concert or something. I would much rather sacrifice productivity and to be able to enjoy things in life that are like just like plain fun and genuinely awesome and might not necessarily work towards something greater because like going to a concert it's like a purely enjoyment experience you know for my lips i'm going to use the glossier generation g and zip and then top it off with the 3ce matte lipstick and mellow flower but yeah i don't think that you should force your body to work on a schedule that clearly doesn't work for it. Are you guys interested in seeing like a how I became a morning person video? Because I don't know, I feel like that something would be fun to film. I don't think that everyone should be a morning person or an evening person, you know? And I get my best ideas at night. I find that I'm most creative at night. So I structure my days to work with how I work. And I recognize that not everybody has that luxury and it's especially easier to do this in college than if you work a nine to five, obvi. Do I look like a clown with my lips overlined? Yeah, I think so. Because I'm more creative in the evenings, I do all of my schoolwork in the mornings. I go to the library at like 7.30, crank out homework until lecture, and then I don't need to do homework after lecture because like that's it's so much nicer that way. And then in the afternoons, I do all of my creative things. So I do all the writing, filming, and editing. And obviously I need to make exceptions to that sometimes, like if I have a midterm or a final and I really gotta grind. But for the most part, that schedule really works for me so i think that productivity and being a morning person and all of those other like lifestyle hacks or routines or patterns that you know you see on youtube you shouldn't have to 
conform yourself to that box if it doesn't work for you i find that my productivity routine is super varied from all the other productivity routines that you see out there on youtube mine is definitely much more driven by nature and impulse and less structure and rigidity rigid rigidity rigidity that feels wrong in my mouth that's it for me today i'm done rambling but this is my look super natural this really takes like three minutes if i'm not rambling in front of the camera that's it for me today thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy these get ready with me I, they're really freaking fun to film but yeah that's it i will see you guys next time bye